the mask is clean hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is about lipsticks you can wear under your mask i already did a video about a full face of makeup what kind of makeup you need to wear under a mask and the link will be right here if you click on the i and also in the description so do check that video out but i do have more lipstick options so these hacks were already there even when the masks were not there it does help to avoid any kind of transfer basically if you're eating something or let's say if you're ringing from a coffee mug you don't get the transfer of the lipstick and i couldn't wait to share it with you guys so let's get started all thing to do is take a lipstick of your choice just make sure it is a matte lipstick and not the creams not the glosses that will transfer anyway make sure you moisturize your lips before and just blot off the excess lip balm and i'm taking max ruby boo so instead of applying it like this i'm gonna take it on my finger this lipstick is really matte that is why i'm using this one so just apply it on your lips with your finger and create a stain so as you can see we do get the color just make sure there's no moisture and you can always blot it with a tissue Time to wear the mask. So as you can see, the mask is clean. You see? So the mask is clean. All of these options that I'm gonna give you are not 100% transfer proof. You might see a little bit of color. So these options do work if you ensure you're going really matte on your lips. That is the idea. So the next option is to actually take liquid matte lipstick. I'm taking the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade Material Girl and take it on your finger and apply. And you would think that this is such a dark color, it would definitely transfer. Let's see. Just make sure you let your lips dry before applying your mask. So you want to try these hacks like 10, 15 minutes in advance, okay? The mask is clean. Now the next option is to take a matte nude color. Let's say you want to apply your lipstick. So you can use a matte color because uh, it would show up less. The pigments are not that strong in a matte lipstick. They don't really stain your lips. And because the reds and the pinks do have a strong pigment. So I'm using the Faces Tea Rose. Now this one would definitely transfer. So we'll just take a tissue. We'll let it sit for some time. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. Where's my tissue? <laughs> Now the lipstick has sort of settled down. I'm just going to blot it with the tissue. So once you do that, you actually already take all the transfer that you will. Now another option is to use a colored kajal. I know, I know, kajal. <laughs> I'm not telling you to wear a black lipstick or a green or a blue. I know those are the most popular kajals, but you do have purples, browns and maroon. So if you have a color like that, you can use a little bit and just blend it with your finger. The formulas of kajals are a lot more long lasting. Do not use your lip liners on your eyes, but you can definitely use your kajal on your lips. So I'm using this one by LA Girl, it's called Mahogany. Do you like this color? Okay, time for the test. Of course, there's no transfer. So the fifth way is to use a lip liner, of course. Now, I know lip liners, this is similar to pretty much the previous hack, but there are lip liners which are creamy, so use something which is a semi-matte or a matte finish. I'm using the pack uh, Color Lock Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Lip Re I'm using the pack I'm using the Pack Color Lock Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Lip Rip. It's like a tongue twister. I'm using the Pack Color Lock Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Ripley Red. Yay! So does it transfer? Not really. So do you see, you can actually use a bright lip color and still there's not going to be any transfer. All right, so the next lip option involves using a lip color. You can use your regular lipsticks for this. I'm again using this one on my faces. And then you can use a tissue. So just grab a tissue, separate it, use as thin as possible, put it over your lips and then just blot it with powder. Keep your mouth closed while doing that. So you'll get a little bit of transfer. Your lipstick should have turned more matte by this time. So pretty much there's no transfer. Although this one, I feel you can get a little bit of transfer depending on what kind of lipstick we've used. So I would recommend allowing your lipstick to sort of settle for 10 minutes like we did before. That is applicable for all the lip options in this video. Now, another hack is to 
have the lip color on and then instead of using powder from the tissue you can just apply powder right on your lips and that is also going to change the color and create a nude lip i do have a video on my channel i link it here and this also makes your lips super matte and non transferable just that you will get a nude lipstick so as you can see the color has sort of toned down it has become very natural almost like a nude lipstick and also it is going to be transfer proof All right, yay, we don't get any transfer on our mask. So what if you want a darker lip color? You don't want nude lipstick, you want some color on your lips. There's another hack for you guys. So basically you're going to apply your regular lipstick. I'm using a crayon. Now on this, you can use an eyeshadow and a powder eyeshadow to mattify it. So I'm going to use this color. As you can see, it's also altering the lip color. Okay, time for the test. Not really. Now the last step is to use a liquid lipstick. Now there's so many liquid lipstick brands. The one I am absolutely sure about this brand called Pack. It's the Retro Matte Gloss and it does not transfer. It is super affordable and it is comfortable on the lips as well. Okay, so my lipstick has dried out and I'm gonna test it. <laughs> the mask is clean. All right, guys, that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. Do try these hacks out and let me know in the comments what is your feedback. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. I'll leave the links down below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.